everybody so two coffee videos ago somebody had recommended that I use this particular coffee maker which is called the Aero Press coffee maker and so many of you recommended that that I went to Bad Bath and Beyond and I was looking around and I finally found it at the bottom shelf but I did find it I was also looking at the Mocha Mocha Press or Mocha Express the one that you pour the water at the bottom and then the coffee on top and then the as it boils the steam brings the coffee up and to the top compartment so I almost bought that thing but I I didn't buy it. It was just too much money. But I did get the AeroPress. I haven't even taken that out of the package yet, so why don't we do that? I don't even know what it looks like. Okay, I got I got a gigantic key. Okay, you must have to start the thing up. I didn't think this was electrical, but I got oh I got a a scooper for the coffee. Yeah, what else? I got? I got this thing, whatever this is, and instructions, and um, this is the uh, press thing, I don't know how this works. Hmm. Okay, let's not break it. All right, so it seems like, oh, and I have coffee filters. Okay, so it seems like a lot of stuff here. And I gotta try to figure out how to fit, fit this together. It's got to fit like this somehow, like that, and then you pour the coffee. <laughs> no, really, I'm going to read the instructions and then uh, I'll get back to you. All right, the first thing I learned is that you push the plunger out of the chamber, so I'm just going to push it. There you go. Alright, so the next thing I do is get a filter, put it in this compartment, put the filter in there, and then twist that like that. I have to say that these instructions are a little confusing. Uh, it says, you gotta watch that water, I don't want it to boil. Stand, stand chamber on a coffee mug, okay, that's good. And put one scoop of coffee in there. So I don't know how much this is. I don't know if it's a cup uh, or a teaspoon, not a cup, uh, a teaspoon. It looks more than a teaspoon. And then it says, for American coffee, fill chamber with water to number two. Stir 10 seconds, press, press gently, and then add 
hot water and make a total of eight ounces. I don't understand that. Fill chamber with water to number two. What is that? After I put one scoop in there and I mix eight ounces. Press gently, then add hot water to make a total. So I put one scoop in there, add water for number two, press it, and then add more hot water. All right, I'm gonna see how much this is, but I almost forgot before I do any coffee, I gotta wash this. So I gotta wash all this stuff first. All right, so I washed everything, and now I'm just curious to know if that's close to a tablespoon. So. Oh no. So two tablespoons equals one of these. So if I get a heaping one of these scoops that says one is for eight ounces of water, that's more than eight ounces. So I want to put that in, plus I want to get a little bit more. I want to get a little, about half, about half of this. So it's almost, almost three tablespoons. Maybe I'll get a little bit more. Okay, let's make three, three tablespoons for that. Okay. Put this away. Now we want to fill with water to number two. Well, what's, what's, it's already leaking. Alright, so I put the water in there. Now let's put this in. And it says to press gently for about 20 to 60 seconds. So. There's the bottom, as I press, I wasn't expecting to the water, for the water to start running right away, I don't know why, why I didn't think the water, oh, shoot, <laughs> I forgot. I forgot an important step. Well, how how can I do this step if the water starts running right away? It says to stir for about ten seconds. Ten seconds. Eight and a half. Nine. 10 seconds. All right. So, see now it's not dripping. So now we press gently, and as I press, it starts to go down. I mean, the water starts coming out, or the coffee, right? I guess now that it's mixed with the coffee, it's called coffee, right? So let's push this slowly. I don't know why I'm a little disappointed with this thing because I was expecting for some reason I was expecting the water to stay here and not start dripping right away so I don't know so now it says to finish pressing this right away so we take this out 
And now I'm just going to press that into the garbage can. That's it. There's more cleanup than the other one. I got to clean this. I got to clean that. I got to clean this. I got to clean this. All right, let's see if there's a difference from my last the last time I did coffee where I make coffee. I guess you don't do coffee, right? You make coffee. It smells burnt. And doesn't taste much different than the coffee I made the last time. All right. Try it next time. Don't let the water be so hot. Put the water in here and stir real quick before the water starts dripping now. Well, it's a cup of coffee, but it doesn't taste much different from my last video, and the other one is so much simpler. The cleanup, there's no cleanup really. With this thing, I have a little bit more cleanup. So, 